reading for um, 2020. Okay, and we will also take this into the extended version on BMO. Please make a purchase there. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for 2020. This is going to be a little different. It's going to be what is your partner trying to tell you, okay? So let's figure this out. What is your partner trying to tell you? Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is your energy, um, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are your partner thinking? And what is your partner trying to tell you for 2020? Gemini. What is your partner trying to tell you, Gemini? What is your partner trying to tell you? So we have the Queen of um the Queen of Wands here. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. You might be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Page of Swords. Someone is stalking your social media. I mean, this is the Page of Wands. All right, this is someone, this is an ending in reverse. Someone wants to move forward. And you have the star. Someone wants a second, a second chance at you to communicate with you. And you have the Ten of, um, the ten of Swords. Someone feeling betrayed and heartbroken and stabbed in the back. That might be your energy because the swords is your energy. So what is your partner trying to tell you, Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is your partner trying to tell you, Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is your partner trying to tell you, Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is your partner trying to tell you? Gemini, Gemini, what is your partner trying to tell you for 2020? What is your partner trying to tell you? Gemini, what is your partner trying to tell you? So far, we got Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer now. Okay, what is your partner trying to tell you, Gemini? Traveling, moving toward, moving forward. Messages coming in. The Sun Leo energy. All right. Make sure you can see that Leo energy. The Sun. That's a beautiful card to have. The Seven of Cups. Someone wants to no longer juggle and have different options. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants to move forward with you. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. That is beautiful energy. That's someone working on their Pentacles, working on their career. Okay, so your partner is working on that. All right, so underneath the deck, you got the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Someone no longer wants to be single. All right, and then you have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Someone is in their head juggling an idea or a relationship. All right, we're going to do that in the extended version. All right, so let's use the Crystal Vision here to clarify some of these cards. And then, like I said, click on the description box and go to the extended version. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel thus far. Why do we have the Queen of Wands for Gemini? What their partner trying to tell them? This is too many cards. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for Gemini. Who's the Queen of Wands? What are their partners trying to tell them? Who's the queen of wands spirit? What are their partner trying to tell them for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. What are their partner trying to tell them for Gemini? High priestess in reverse. Pisces energy. Okay. You have the justice in reverse. I mean, in the upright position, Libra. You have the judgment. Wow. Legal matter here. And the Ace of uh, Cups in reverse. Someone is dumping their cup out and saying, I'm done with this relationship. I'm done with this love. I want justice. Not listening to their intuition. Third party relationship, perhaps. Or legal ma matter. Okay. 
Let's see. Why is the page of uh, wands here? The king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep. A legal batter. Uh, a legal batter. So is someone getting hit? <laughs> batter. A legal matter. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Wow. As soon as I said that, the seven of wands came out. Flipped out. It was a fight and an argument. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is upset with you because of a third party with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. Okay, let's clarify the uh, Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles. We have a reversal. Nine of Swords. Someone is in their head, hurt, feeling betrayed. Okay. Let's verify the star because this is Aquarius energy or a baby mother or uh, children. And this could be healing or asking for a second chance in a relationship from your partner Aquarius. I mean Aquarius. You might be dealing with Aquarius Gemini. But the star is Aquarius energy. So Gemini, why is the star here for Gemini and their partner? Okay, it's too many cards. What is their partner trying to tell them for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the star here for their partner, for Gemini's partner? Why is the star here? You have the Emperor. This is Aries energy here. Okay. You also have the Death card, Scorpio, and you have the Ten of Ten of Swords. Um, you also have the Ten of Swords. Someone is um, in pain here. An ending with the Scorpio energy. Five of Cups is underneath the deck. Mourning a loss of a past love. The Emperor is someone who's firm, who comes forward with the messages. The Death card is in reverse. So someone wants to restart, but someone is in pain about this relationship that you're having. So let's take this into the extended version, Gemini, and Namaste. Welcome back, Gemini. This is Crystal, the High Priestess. We will continue your reading. You had the Five of Cups in the, in the reverse here. Mourning a loss of a past love. Whoa, let's verify now the Ten of uh, Swords. This is your energy. Feeling betrayed. You have the Ten of Swords here too. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Gemini and what their partner is trying to tell them? The Ten of Swords is literally taking the swords out their back that someone put in there and they're like, I'm done with this. The Five of Cups again. Wow. See, this is meant to be. It came right out. Mourning a loss of a, a past love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio walked away. Or you are missing that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They betrayed you, but you still love them and you don't want to end that relationship with them. Okay, so you want, this is fast movement. Someone wants to walk towards or run towards or a car or travel. The chariot. Why is the chariot here for Gemini and their partner? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for Gemini? Regarding Gemini and their partner. Why is the chair? Okay, wow. And the Eight of Swords is being bound. It's cancer energy here. Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you are feeling bound, mentally, mentally blocked. You're in pain about this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio who walked away. That's somebody who you love. Why is the sun here? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Gemini. But you do have the sun, which is a beautiful card to have. Why is the sun here for Gemini spirit? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Leo energy. The Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. Yep. 
The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy and the Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So they walked away from you and you feeling like you want equal balance with the star. You're like, please come back. You want a second chance to make it right with them. The Hierophant is marriage. So you no longer want to juggle. You want to be serious to take this relationship to, a, to the next level in 2020. Gemini, you want to try to be honest. And you want to five of swords. You don't want to be deceptive. Okay? That's your energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Queen of Swords. You're like, I want to fight for this. Or I'm going to kill somebody for this relationship. This relationship is the death of me. Ace of Swords. So why do you feel like you need to come out of your head about this? You got to face the truth that is over. Why is the Ace of Swords here for uh, Gemini? Hmm. Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit, for Gemini? You have Blockage and Four of Pentacles. So you don't want to share something you don't want to share. Someone blocked you or you blocked someone, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You blocked the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for a Gemini and their partner? You have the Tower moment and soulmate. Wow, this soulmate energy. An ending to the juggling. And you want to find your soulmate. Or who, if your soulmate is juggling. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Why is the nine of pentacles? Someone don't, don't want to be single. They want to commit. The emperor's commitment. And the hierophant's commitment. Marriage. Why is the nine of pentacles here? The knight of wands. Okay. This is someone who's in and out. This is someone who's in and out. You want a commitment, but the partner you're dealing with don't want the commitment. Yeah, look at this. The knight. Two knights. Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is not going to take this relationship serious. All right? So if you're waiting for that, that's not going to happen in 2020 or at least in the beginning of 2020. I don't see but the Knight of Cups can be an, an apology too. Like a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming in to apologize. But the Knight of Wands is someone who wants the Netflix and chill. That's the Netflix and chill in and out. All right. What's the overall message for Gemini and their partner? What's the overall message here for Gemini and their partner? What they're trying to tell Gemini. All right, and then you have the nine of cups in the bottom of the deck, the three of cups in reverse. Someone don't want to juggle. Someone don't want to juggle anymore. Someone wants to come clean or for a stable relationship here in 2020. So let's figure out what are you doing for New Year's and the sexual energy that will be happening. Okay, what sexual energy? Do you have for 2020? All right. So we got three cards that flew out. And um, let's put this. Wow. All right. So we got some S&M going on in here. The Knight of Swords. All right. This is like bondage. Someone wants to tie you up. All right. And you know quickly come in and out of your life you have the two of cups pisces cancer scorpio this is someone who's actually coming in to make love and then you have the ten of swords being stabbed in the back and cheated on and caught cheating a couple of other signs have got the ten of us swords so a lot of people will be cheating because of i guess the new years everybody's just humping 
and and dating i don't know breaking in the new year happy new year and just getting it in getting it out so the knight of swords is bondage someone wants to tie you up this is gemini libra aquarius energy where someone wants to like be playful you know what i mean and because it's a knight this is somebody who's in and out like breadcrumbing you and shit like that someone just want to fuck so gemini if you're looking for a love or wish fulfillment at the end of the road or 2020 at the beginning of january i don't see it like in your mind mentally you might think this soulmate but it's not soulmate this is somebody who's bumping and fucking grinding okay so you know with social media out there it's hard to really find a solid relationship i mean go figure so this is your reading gemini and namaste